Right, <clears throat> so pushing A for sleep mode. Boop. Pushing A for sleep mode. Boop. Hey guys, and welcome back to a another Let's Play. Uh, this is Outbreak, The Nightmare Chronicles. This is like a super budget fan make game, I guess, of uh, well, Resident Evil style survival horror. Now, uh, this game is actually made by like one person supposedly which is pretty crazy i actually bought this in a sale for like four pounds and uh, well it look 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 it is what it is okay uh i had my fun with it it was a bit of a laugh um no it's not even really up there with the uh og resident evil games right but why would it be? It's a fan-made game by one person. You can't really compare it to a triple A offering from somewhere else. Now, I have uh, gone through the entire game blind and recorded it. But like I said in my update video, the only problem with that was uh, because I reformatted my computer and I had to reinstall everything. OBS wasn't set up properly. My mic sounded terrible. The game sound didn't record. Uh, so <laughs> I actually did this about two weeks ago and I had all the videos. I went to edit and put one together last night for today and found that it had no audio and the mic sounded like complete dog shit. Um, I went through all of the videos and they all had the same issue so they all went into the recycling bin don't like uh, redoing lps but um where we were gonna have a blind run uh, this obviously isn't anyway this game certainly has its problems uh, <laughs> uh yeah definitely has its problems now one thing that i didn't realize at the time that i know now there's a whole series of these Outbreak games. This isn't the first in the series, so bear that in mind. Uh, it doesn't really do a good job of uh, introducing the characters. And my god, right? If you don't like reading, you're probably going to have a bad time because there's a lot of reading in this game. <clears throat> a lot of... Re too much, uh, to be honest, you know. But it is what it is. Anyway, let's have a look at Outbreak. Welcome to Outbreak from the developer. Thank you very much for purchasing and playing Outbreak. The Nightmare Chronicles, this game was created by a solo indie developer. And your support is massively appreciated. Please post any feedback in the forums. Also, I must say, um, I attended a live stream of what I could actually see, which was about... 10 minutes or so before my internet sh took a massive shit. Uh, well, I can't, yeah, I can't even watch live streams anymore. Not even considering making them myself. Um, so, uh, the developer's actually a really chill dude. He takes criticism, even pretty harsh, blunt criticism. He actually takes it, and he has improved uh, massively from, from his original game. So, you know what? Fuck it. Props to this guy, okay? Because he's not a whiny little uh, bitch that gets offended. Um, he actually takes the criticism back on board. He thanks people, even if they're really harsh to him. He thanks them for playing his game and trying. You know, he's a good chap, and mad props for that because even AAA developers these days get all offended and, and pathetic uh, when they get a little bit of criticism. Right, with that being said, let's go. So, uh, you know, I mean, you can see straight away this. I'll tell you what this game reminds me of. It reminds me back when Xbox Live Arcade first started on the 360, not the original Xbox. That, that was... Um, a little bit different but on the 360 when they brought out the xbox live arcade which was what 2007 2008 because it didn't i don't think it launched with the machine um back when we had the blade interface do you remember that that was sick now i think if this came out then it probably would have done fairly well i mean we are running this on the switch it is 
from what I can understand on everything. Um, anyway, let's hit up the game. So, this is episodic. I'm guessing, I don't know if these were extras or whatever, or whether they just came out after the first get, uh, you know, you made your initial purchase and then as things went on, these became av uh, available. I don't know, but we have it all. Uh, it's not a long game. I'll say that. We can continue the save game, but obviously <laughs> we're not going to. So let's hit up. Start chapter. The wind was howling, but the rain finally ceased. Lydia surveyed the quiet room, soaking in the calm after her escape. There was no chance of leaving back through the window. The other survivors were on their own. Before her, she saw beds and a storage trunk. There were a few things she might be able to use strewn around as well. She knew she wasn't safe, though. The building looked huge from the outside, and she could already hear the moans of the damned through the walls. They were still unaware of her presence, though she's had this opportunity to collect herself and prepare for the conflict in the next room. <clears throat> But there were also bigger questions on her mind. Whose manner was this? Why were they maintaining it? Why was it so isolated? There's nothing up here in the foothills. Maybe it was linked to the bunker that she had found earlier with the other survivors. See, there's this whole back thing here, but I didn't even know <clears throat> I didn't even know there was a, a a game before this, so you know, that's on me. Um in my original playthrough I did rag on that quite a bit. <clears throat> but you know, that's my fault, not this game. If so, she knew things were quickly going to get a lot worse, very quickly. She bandaged up her wounds the best she could with a first aid kit under the bed. The trunk didn't have much either, but it did have to, do, but it'll have to do for now. Slowly, she approached the door and opened it. Right, let's go. So, Lydia, our main character for this adventure. She has no real personality to speak of outside some quips of dialogue uh, or some reading, should I say. Uh, but I guess maybe in the other games there was a bit more to her story. I'm not sure. Old Manor, bedroom suite. 8.30 p.m. Explore the manor and find a way to survive. So here is our... <laughs> You know, the animation, like, this was my biggest criticism about this game. I'm going to be real with you here, guys. My biggest criticism for this game is the animation. If 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 he could, I can't bloody remember his name either at this time. If they could tighten these animations up, you really have something worth playing here. Um, now, on the on that note of worth playing, I've actually sent this game to two other people as well. Um, so... This is our main inventory screen. You can see our character, Lydia. Health, hmm, looks familiar. Uh, and, you know, we only have six item slots. That's kind of an issue, but we'll go into that. Now, painkillers. Basic painkillers that aren't particularly effective on their own. This is basically a green herb. You can take it as is, or you can mix it with something a little bit down the line. Okay, so... The Katana 9 Special, a common civilian sidearm. It fires 9mm parabellum rounds. So this handgun is your main standard issue basic weapon. Uh, and it's fine. You know, it's... Again, the, the way she... I mean... She's going to have a bad time if you fire the gun like that. But, you know, whatever. We do have a torch as well, which is very nice. This is a very dark game in places. Also, the ambient soundtracks is not bad. Search everywhere, because even if you can't see an item, and trust me, ladies and a gentleman, there will be many occasions where you can't see anything, but you can pick up ammo. So, it would be suicide to go back out there. I need to explore this manner. We will. And, um, yeah, so I'm very excited to play, like, a survival horror game that I haven't played before. We don't get enough of these games. So, you know, I think we should try and support the ones that we do get. Uh, keep an open mind as well. Like, it's so easy to just say this game is trash. But 
you know, if you if you take the fedora off and actually sit down and look at it for what it is, what it costs, who made it, it's not bad. There's fun to be had here uh, amongst its problems. So, remember when I said there's a lot of reading? Yep, there's a lot of reading. I can hear them outside. There's howls coming from the door, from the windows, from the floors. They sent me in here to rest. They said I was sick, that I was imagining things. But they're wrong. And I know the truth. These beasts were real. Those deformed humans dripping with blood, gnashing teeth. It's all real. I managed to find a way to lock the door outside this bedroom. It won't hold. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to stay here. They can't get in. They'll never get in. I'm safe. And nobody will ever know the code is 1234. Well, you're safe. Now, I know the code is now 1234. In fact, I have a cheat sheet in front of me with all of the puzzles and things. Because I've already gone through the game once and I wrote everything down. Anyway, let's go through our first door. And one thing I will say, I like the environments. I like to think all of this was made by this, this developer. It wasn't just asset flips, you know, it's not one of those type of games. And if that's the case, some of these environments are really cool. Now, you can see another diary straight away. These damn fools, they don't take security seriously at any of our facilities and now we have a tremendous amount of internal theft the chemicals and equipment we're storing and using here are expensive it's a material cost and when we need to replace them uh, it's not like we're making money here to fund this so i'm having the maintenance staff start locking down each of these rooms we've built out a code system and everybody is going to follow it the doors will remain locked at all times and this shouldn't be a big ask, but what happens if one of those specimens gets access to this equipment? The code is straightforward enough, though. It just follows a pattern. A1, B4, C2, D5. Yeah, so with that, you can pretty much easily surmise that E is going to be 3, F is going to be 6, G is going to be 4, H is going to be 7, and so on. Pretty, pretty easy stuff, to be honest. Uh, anyway, it does have OG tank controls as well and you can uh change that to a more modern style however the modern style uh, yeah we got zombies zomboys uh we got zambles just down the down from us now you can change it to the modernized controls similar to what the hd remakes of resident evil have but 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 big butts big juicy hunking butts it does suffer with the same problems that the HD remakes have whereas sometimes when the camera angle transitions to the next scene it fucks your controls up and you end up running around in circles that kind of stuff so we're gonna go with the OG tank controls or pro mode as this game calls it because I know tank controls like the back of my hand uh, you know I've, I've played a Resident Evil or two before um, anyway so we can pick up these antiquated storage mediums from the past these five and a half inch floppy disks uh, and these are ink ruins, but we're not going to worry too much about that. And now we have our first Zamble. Yeah, combat in this game is, well, I mean, it, it, it's, yeah, it's a thing. It's definitely in there. Uh, kind of. The ragdoll physics are incredibly entertaining. Uh, it's locked. The door has a golden lock on it. Okay. And here we get a bunch of gobbledygook. There's writing on the, in the blood. And that actually tells us the code for this door. We got some bullets. Yes, we like bullets around these parts. You could there is a reload button. Which is wonderful. I'm gonna step past this zamble. Now I believe I have this down. Code to this door. Now that um three two four. Now yeah, you release the lock. Good stuff. So that code uh, that they mentioned in that beginning diary. Yeah, they don't use that again, as far as I can remember. That's like the only time you, you ever use the code. So there are lots of weapons in this game as well. But to be honest, like you you don't need like the handgun. The hang oh, hello. the handgun is so OP that you, you just you know there are some areas where like the shotgun's useful. There's some very tough enemies as well that, that are never really much of a threat. To be honest with you. 
um, if you keep running around them. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, the six item slots are genuinely a problem. They will piss you off. Well, there's the key that we need. We had another incident today with one of the patients yesterday. One of the security guys was able to get over the rather quickly and neutralize the threat. But we're all still confused as to how it happened. The patient we had locked in the bedroom down the hall mysteriously turned without warning. But luckily, the door was locked. Yeah, that was the, the patient we just killed in the front. Well, the one that we just killed, I think. And this is the one that writ the previous diary. We were able to lure him into the hallway and take him down immediately. Nobody was hurt. We need to get more serious about security, though. We have more people coming in who require our unique brand of healing and we need to stay sharp i've ordered additional supplies including anti-personnel weapons so we're safe in the event of an outbreak here we're going to be ready mm-hmm yes ready i'm sure you will be anyway let's get out of here so her actual running animation i don't think is too bad it's just her her <laughs> the way she just you know casually strolls oh strolls off Enemies do also respawn if you... Oh, God, the gun sound effects. If you do, um... You know, make some progress. Now, the other thing I will mention as well... Also, supplies sometimes respawn. It's a little bit strange. Uh, one thing I will mention is the gun sound effects just sound terrible. And there is so much knockback on the pistol. Right? So much knockback on the pistol... But enemies have a bit of a challenge even getting to you, you know, because you can just push them back all the time. Which, you know, I mean, it's a thing, I guess. Um, there is an enhanced handgun that we find later, which seems to be a little bit more powerful, but it's not huge. Right, let's use our key and go through the door. Almost like uh, we've been here before, right? More painkillers. There's so much health in this game. So there's a lot of supplies. Sometimes you start running out of ammo. Well, there's a dude down here. Oh, we can see our main character there. I better search this hallway. Oh, there is. Yeah. Just <laughs> shoot him in the face. Yeah, get fucked, buddy. There we go. So you do get ranked. At the end as well. Oh, God. We've got two ways of aiming our weapon. You can aim your weapon with the uh, L button. And that just aims, basically, brings the gun up. If you push uh, the LZ button, which is the trigger, uh, she will actually auto-target enemies. So, anyway. Let's grab some bullets. Did I mention there's bullets everywhere? Did I mention that? I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. The lock is jammed. I'll need some tools to force it open. Well, I'm pretty sure we can find some tools around here. Oh, God. Yeah, you can jib it out and, like, run up the walls as well a little bit sometimes. Ooh, which is quite funny. Now, you do have a decent amount of health. It's not like you're going to die in about 17 seconds, you know, flat or anything. You come up against anything dangerous. Uh, there's also lots and lots and lots of save discs. When I mean there's lots of save discs, I mean there's lots of save discs. Look at this. We've got two zombies. Not sure why only one of them's coming at us, but that's fine. I'd rather take one on at a time than two. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. That looks like... <laughs> Look at the way he's just like passed out. He's like out of it, man. He's fucked. We've got some shotgun shells. Gee, does that mean we're going to get a shotgun? Probably. What else have we got in here? Anything good? It's very difficult to see items as well. That's something I will uh, definitely mention. It's hard to see items. But, you know. That's my cross to bear. There's really nothing in here apart from some shotgun shells. Now, it looks like you're going to be getting into, like, this big sprawling manner, kind of like the original OG games, but it's not. This game is very linear, um, sadly. Oh, my God, look at that. Yo. You're looking very um, plain tonight, Lydia. All right, anyway, let's go. 
Yeah, she's no Chris. Uh, she's no Chris. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Now, the biggest threat that I actually, to be honest, came across, I think, is these guys on the floor. We're going to eat some painkillers. Those guys on the floor suck. They're really hard to hit. And, you know, usually in the OG Resident Evil games, you know, if a zomb zombie was crawling on the floor, he was probably really injured. Uh, no, in this game, the zombies that are crawling on the floor seem to have the full amount of health. And they really can do damage to you because you don't really knock them back. Which is frustrating. Looks like somebody is storing quite a few plants here. I don't know what any of them are, though. Uh, we also have these. These are like poison zombies, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, I completed this entire game and I ne poison was never really an issue. I think I got poisoned once. Considering the amount of poison zambles there are, it, you know. You oh, fuck. Blew them into next week. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come get your medicine. There we go. Lead bullets for you, sir. Yeah, ragdoll. All right, let's take this guy out. And now, it's not just zombies that we fight. There are other things as well, but, you know, you're not going to be seeing anything, like, really impressive. Oh, you dropped some bullets for me. It's very kind of you. I'll certainly be having those bastards. Okay, so in this room, behind door number three, we've got some shotgun shells, we've got a zombie, and we've got a diary. All right, let's take out the zombie anyway. Probably don't need to take this guy out, to be 100% honest with you, but fuck him. Yeah, fuck, pal. Take the shells. We've now got the entire upper floor on lockdown 24-7. Management is getting jumpy, and they're doing inspections often. It's such a pain to keep locking and unlocking the doors every time we need to go somewhere, though. Uh, isn't that, like, a good thing? So, you know, the zombies don't get around? I'm just saying. The garden access way is probably our largest point of concern. We have a fence around the complex, but those woods are deep, and someone could easily come in from out there. I've locked down that door with a special code. I've also locked down the western room from the upper, uh, on the upper floor, which we're storing supplies in. I've set the code to 3851. I'll switch it daily to... For maximum uh, purity. All right, you do, you do. Right, so that there, that medicine, this um, syrup, is what we use to cure poison. It is your blue herb, shall we say. Not enough inventory space to pick up the floppy disk, yeah. Okay, well, luckily there is a box room coming up. Let's just saunter on through. I like reading this. Looks like some huge force tore off the railing. I'd better be careful. Oh no. A huge force, you say? Well, we're sure to be on the lookout for that. There's got to be a way to get into these rooms. Maybe some logs were left behind. Yeah, maybe they were, Lydia. Maybe they were. Maybe we've just read a load of them. Uh, I think this one was the 3851 door. It's not. 3851 door. In that case, I could I could sequence break, I guess. But yeah, there's no point. I I've got all the codes to all the doors written in front of me, so. But we're not gonna cheese it. Hey friend, look at the zombies, man. They don't look bad. They really don't, you know. Uh oh. We've got oh god, we've got three zambles here. This could be bad actually. Let's do a tactical reload. There we go. I've never seen all of them come at me before. Admittedly, I've only done this once, so, you know, there's that. Ooh. When you hear that weird snap, I don't know if that's... Oh, God, yeah, the big fat zombie's actually a little bit tougher. I don't know if that's a critical hit or something. Yeah, take a seat, buddy. That's it. Sit down. Uh, yeah, bit of an awkward angle here. It doesn't quite line up properly. But we can just about get the bullets. You know, there is that. Uh, does... Uh, okay, so the, um... The Pekka Syrup, or whatever the fuck it's called, doesn't stack. Which, you know, I'm not surprised about that. 
We just received a significant delivery of medical supplies just in time as well. The needs and numbers uh, of our patients keep growing exponentially and we're moving through the supplies faster than ever. And the main thing that we need is tranquilizers and other sim uh, similar calming agents. They become violent rather readily after some of these experiments. Uh, we have to have them delivered through the back gate since the front entrance was underground. Uh, undergoing work. I brought them up through the lower main hall and dumped them in the storage room at the top of the stairs. It's locked. Well enough for now. I've set the code for that and I've sent it off to management to be filed. Should be safe here for the time being. Good, because we need another safe box. Let's go back upstairs. Now, memory serves. We get the shotgun in here. Act. Uh, I don't need to say if memory serves because I bloody know. Safe rooms, uh, from what I can remember anyway, are always safe rooms. I don't think there's any, uh, any zombies in there. I might be wrong. We do have some nice calming safe room music. Now, um, we are uh, at the end of each chapter, you are scored. You're scored on... Reload. You're scored on the amount of health items you've used. And the amount of times you've saved. Time isn't a factor, so bear that in mind, I guess. I don't know if there's anything to unlock. Pretty sure there probably... Um, I don't know. I was say maybe there is. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Who want to take the shotgun? I guess we could take the shotgun. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Jesus, maybe I'm coming down with a touch of the old uh, whatever the fuck the virus is from here. Mm. Right, okay. Let's have a little look for bullets. Now, one of the tool tips does actually say uh, that what we picked up there, the ointment, that is a red herb, basically. We can mix that with stuff and we can improve our healing. I don't think there's anything else in here, just construction tools and random supplies. Don't need any of that. I can save my progress with a floppy disk. I could. Yes, you're correct. But I don't really need to save that. We'll drop that back to... Uh, should we take the shotgun? How much? Uh, the shotgun holds eight. Now, you. the shotgun's not a bad weapon. It has a lot of kickback. As you'd expect. Fun weapon to use, I suppose. Anyway, uh, let's go downstairs because we're still looking for some tools to get into that other room. There's definitely something a little bit funky going on in here. But look how cool these environments are. If this guy crafted all this, this looks really cool. It really does. I'm not going to I'm not going to be a dick for the sake of it. You know, I'm not going to take anything away from what this guy's actually developed. Let's see if we can go through here. We can't go through there just yet. It's locked. Possible that the code is written around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was probably, what was it? 3851. 3851. <gasps> Surprise Pikachu face. I'm guessing the loading would be better on the other systems. Right, there's a fire axe. We can actually use the fire axe as a melee weapon. Uh, the only trouble with using it as a melee weapon is it's absolute dog shit. Like, guys, no. No. I mean, maybe. I'll, well, we'll probably show off later on. It's true. Oh, there's a floppy there as well. Maybe we're thumbing a floppy later. I don't know. But we're out of space anyway. We need to come back here, because there's something out here that we actually need. Now, you can hear that kind of zombie breathing. It's not a zombie. No. No. Uh-uh. No sun. That is not a zombie. Unless enemies are slightly randomized, but from memory. Uh, they don't seem to be. Also, fuck my ass and call me Charlie. We're out of time. So, actually not a bad place to hand it in for now. Are we going to save it? I don't really, I don't feel the need to save this game. 
You know, once you know what you're doing in this game, it's really you can really shovel through it. We're pretty far through this um, this bit. To be honest with you, this main well, is what do you what do you call it? The main the, the, this first chapter. We're not going to use the shotgun just yet. Or shall we? Should we use the shotgun? We only have uh, yeah, we don't have a huge amount. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll be diplomatic. We'll put the shells back. There is too many weapons in this game. This is, you know, can I say that in confidence that there's too many weapons in this game? Yeah, I think I can. I, yeah, I think I can say there's too many weapons in this game because you'll come to a point where the chapter ends. When the chapters end, you lose everything you've collected and you start the next chapter with nothing. I, I would say that, you know, don't want to, who gives a fuck really about spoilers? Um, now, the problem is, you don't know, well, I know, because I've played the game, but <clears throat> you, if you haven't played the game, you don't know where the chapter's going to end. So you end up hoarding all these weapons and all these rocket launchers and magnums and shit like that, uh, and you never get to use them, because you're like, oh, wait for the boss, wait for the boss, wait for the boss. You don't know you're on the boss until you're on the boss. And when you enter the boss room, or the final room of, of, of the chapter... You then can't leave to go back. You have what you have with you. So poor game design in that respect. Having said that, this is a game that's designed to be replayed, kind of similar to the OG Resident Evil games, but there's just there's not enough in this game to replay it. I'm only replaying it because I do YouTube. If I if I didn't do YouTube, I probably <laughs> probably I wouldn't ever play this game again. Um but yeah, so luckily, because we're doing this a second time, we can actually enjoy the weapons. Um, yeah, blah, the weapons, the, the, yeah. The Magnum's alright, I guess. You get an assault rifle, which is alright, I guess. Actually, no, the assault, I like the assault rifle in this game. It's only single shot, but it's got a good magazine on it. Um, we also get a grenade launcher. Which, you know, doesn't seem that good, if I'm being honest with you. It, mm, yeah. We'll see it as the game goes on anyway. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you can enjoy this uh, interesting game with me. I'm going to enjoy playing. You know what? I'm actually enjoying going through it again. Huh. Now, I don't know if that's just because I'm recording YouTube videos and I love recording YouTube videos. Or whether I'm actually going to enjoy going through this game. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time. <laughs>